Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. I hope you guys are doing amazing out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the week of June 2023. This one's gonna be a little bit of a quicker reading versus the last one. This is just a little snapshot of what is going on in your love life this week. I'll find out who's coming towards you, find out how they currently feel about you, get their behavior towards you, and I'll also take a look at what's in your blind spot. Things that could be negatively impacting your connection with someone that you may not see just yet so I'll answer all those questions and then some followed by your advice in today's reading so let's do it spirit what's the energy surrounding Taurus today for the week of June 2023 in love who's coming towards them and how do they truly feel about Taurus can Taurus trust this person and what's their situation two more shuffles please one and two let's rock this deck for my terrific Torians Okay, so the person you're connecting to, their current feelings are the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups, as their feelings, tells me that this person feels like you guys are creating sweet memories together. The Six of Cups is a soul bond connection. So for some of you, this person and you may feel like you've known each other a lot longer than you really had. You know, you meet this person and immediately you just feel like at home, where you guys can be yourselves with each other. And for others, you may not be dating this person just yet. This person could be just a sweet friend where you both are kind of like blurring the lines of where's this friendship going? Are we going to be more? But this person definitely feels something special towards you. You've got, a, you've got a place in their heart for you. So what's their intentions? The Four of Pentacles. They're coming in very protective over you. Very, um, very protective and they they see a lot of value in you. So their intentions is to hold on to this connection, okay? I just wanna make sure that they are not coming in possessive, because sometimes the Four of Pentacles can be the energy of my Taurus, no one else can have Taurus, all right? As you can look at the original right away tarot deck of that man just holding that pentacle like greedy. So this person is very protective over your energy, and yeah. You've got someone that's definitely interested in you, holding on to you, and is just wanting to create more memories with you with that Six of Cups. For others, if this is someone that you've kind of stopped communicating with for whatever reason, this Six of Cups could also indicate someone wanting to make a return because they have not let you go, okay? What's this person's behavior towards Taurus this week? The King of Wands, Leo energy. Their behavior towards you is telling me that they're gonna want to try and get your attention as you see this man up on stage with his microphone in front of a huge audience trying to get people to look at him and watch what he does so this person's behavior this week is going to be of a performer right they're gonna try and get your attention for example if you guys work together they might try to make you laugh if you guys don't work close to each other this is someone posting stuff on social media that they know will get your direct attention and if you are in daily communication with this person they're they're definitely putting up the charisma you know on you the the charm because the king of wands is very charming very passionate in everything that they do okay so you definitely have someone attracted to you and when the king of wands sets their sights on somebody there is no letting go until they get what they want respectfully of course <laughs> don't worry i will clarify these cards some of you guys could have a leo sun taurus moon scorpio rising on your hands all right so your feelings for this person taurus six of wands leo energy you like their attention you like that they want your attention so this feels nice it feels nice it feels like this is someone that you care about too they care about you it feels like you guys both engage with each other you both flirt you both are very physically attracted to each other and the six of wands as your feelings tells me that you want to see this go somewhere because the six of wands connects to the planet jupiter and jupiter is all about success growth recognition getting the attention you deserve so you're going to get this person's attention and they want your attention all right, which is very fitting how when I started your reading my room was a little bit darker And now that Sun is becoming brighter into my my room. It's early morning and the Sun is still rising and that's Ruled by Leo the Sun is ruled by Leo. So I don't know if they're telling me that during Leo season 
which is at the end of July going into August. Something major is going to take place between you and this person. I know we're in June, but I'm getting a message that relates to you and this person in the month of July going into August, where something um, is going to be very highlighted in regards to your relationship and it might connect to a lot of growth a lot of growth between the two of you. For example, say you guys just met each other this week, right? You're getting to know each other. There's a lot of flirting. This person feels like they've already known you for a while. Um, it's too soon to talk about where are we going with our relationship. And then Leo season comes along and you guys are like, all right, we like each other clearly, so let's do this. Let's be exclusive. You know, that could be the message I'm getting. Or someone here has strong Leo in their chart. So what is the blind spot? What's in the blockage, Taurus? The Ace of Wands. For some of you, you guys have not fed into temptation yet with each other. You know, for some of you, this could be like back and forth flirting, but nobody has actually made the move to ignite this passion, to get intimate. You know what I'm talking about, bumping uglies in the bedroom. <laughs> all right, we're all adults here. Um, and for those of you who have been intimate with this person, maybe something has kind of pulled you guys away from each other to where you guys can't be together as much as you want to be. But it's definitely telling me that their behavior towards you this week is trying to get that Ace of Wands in motion, right? Because this King of Wands wants to engage with you, okay? And, um, the Ace of Wands, just be mindful though that it tends to start off really quick and hot and heavy, but one little gust of wind blows it out, aka one little disagreement, one little argument can take that fiery wand and put it right out. We want the Ace of Pentacles if you're wanting this relationship to become more serious and stable Taurus. With you being an earth sign, I'm sure you're going to co-sign with that sentiment. You see, when you've got the Ace of Pentacles, you've got a connection that can withstand anything. Any small argument, you know, gossip about your relationship, you know, just, it, it can. Just like with this rock, Ace of Pentacles. You put this rock right here and it will withstand all types of thunderstorms, you know, hail, all kinds of crap and it'll still be there. No, not, not the Ace of Wands. You got a fire pit blowing and that rainstorm puts it out. So in order for you and this person to have something stable and exclusive, we need to turn this Ace of Wands into the Ace of Pentacles to solidify your relationship with this person. And I'm strong again, Leo season being when you and this person take it to the next level. I, again, I know that's like six weeks from now or something like that, but someone is, um, someone is a little bit guarded is what I'm also getting. Like the Four of Pentacles as this person's intentions almost feels like they want to hold into their emotions. They're protecting it in the safe. They're not wanting to let you in emotionally, even though they're feeling it with the Six of Cups. Because when you look at the original Right Away deck, you see the man holding the pentacle right in front of his heart chakra as to say, I'm not letting love penetrate or escape. It's all about money, status, how I look, how I smell, the money in my bag, my bank account, you know? So we'll see what's going on. What's your potential outcome with this person? Judgment, a final decision being made. You've been getting this card a lot, Taurus. You've been getting this card a lot. In fact, I think it was even your thumbnail for your last week's reading. I do feel like very soon, someone's gonna look at themselves in the mirror and say, this is when we do it. This is when we go for it. It's now or never. You either want this or you don't. And since it's in the outcome position, I feel like it's the both of you looking at your situation really carefully and asking yourself, is this someone I can see my life with 10 years from now? Are we aligned with each other? Do we add value to each other's lives or are we both liabilities to each other? We either want this or we don't. Because it doesn't take a year for someone to realize if they want to be in an exclusive relationship with somebody. It doesn't take that long. And anyone telling you that they're confused on month five on whether they want to make you their girlfriend or boyfriend, they're just stalling until they find something better. So if you just met this person, very soon this person and you are going to decide whether to make this more secure but if this is someone you've been knowing for a while and they're coming at you with this i don't know i still need time to figure things out can them can them tell them to go pound sand 
Taurus doesn't deserve that, okay? You are the empress, regardless of your gender, you're the freaking empress. The empress needs an emperor, okay? So, so far I see someone definitely making a decision. What's your advice with this connection? Two of Swords, do not ignore your feelings. Do not ignore bad behavior. Do not sweep bad behavior under the carpet, okay? And if you and this person have been playing phone games with each other, stop doing that, okay? This is where we all have to be accountable for our own actions as the, point, the finger you're pointing outward is being pointed back at you with that reflection. Okay, there's three sides to every situation, your side, your person side, and spirit side. But in this situation, you can only judge yourself. What have you been doing or what do you feel like you do in relationships that might stall a relationship from progressing to a good place? And then this person does it to themselves. We only judge ourselves. So it's the energy of not ignoring your own, your own things that you do in the relationship that make hurt the, the relationship's growth. Okay? Because the Two of Swords is the energy of staying stuck. Staying stuck, unable to move forward. Okay, ooh, 11, 11. Um, I need to find out why that Ace of Wands is in the blockage. Because I have two people here who are burning with passion for each other. I mean burning with passion with each other. And I, I need to find out why this is not, you know, in the outcome position. Okay, so this is where clarifying is gonna help me. What's the overall energy for the connection? the six of swords for some of you guys just distance is keeping you guys apart for some of you you guys may live further away from each other where it's not an easy all right going down the street to Taurus's house be be back tomorrow you know it's hey I gotta go book a flight to go see that that hot little number Taurus you know who lives in SoCal it's it oh my goodness look Two of Wands right here shows me someone looking at travel brochures. So that may be a confirmation for somebody here that the only thing that's keeping you guys apart is distance. And for others, for others, I am getting a, a side message that some of you guys are reconciling differences with somebody. You guys may have had a falling out. You guys may have had some sort of disagreement and this person's feeling the, the desire to return Six of Cups. Um, and it's gonna be up to you both on whether or not to reconcile because judgment is also about forgiving and learning. Except with, with your person's intentions being the Four of Pentacles, they might be harboring resentment or a grudge. Okay, I gotta cover all angles because I got many Torians watching. All right, so let's clarify. So let's begin with your person's feelings for you. We have the Six of Cups. This at least confirms at the baseline that this person feels a soft, sweet bond with you. They care about you. They adore you. I love the Six of Cups. It's gotta be one of my top five cards. Why the Six of Cups? Because not everyone comes along as the Six of Cups. Those are one of those sweet little connections that you'll always remember. Why the Six of Cups? We got the Ten of Cups right here. We got the Seven of Swords. We got the Knight of Cups. We got the Six of Cups again. And the Four of Cups. Oh man. All right, for some of you Torians, somebody somebody foolishly missed out on an opportunity with you and they are kicking themselves in the booty for it look at this somebody didn't take the opportunity when it was presented to them which is that ace of wands and the blockage and now they're they're moping they're in their feelings four of cups plus six of cups equals the ten of cups ten of cups right here somebody here was not taking the initiative for whatever reason and I do have the Knight of Cups clarifying their feelings, so a lot of watery energy. I got all water cards except for the Seven of Swords, so it definitely could be a water sign that you're connecting to, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but I do feel like you are connecting with someone that has a lot of romantic love for you, but they may have, you know, neglected to seize an opportunity. And for others, for others, this person feels like you guys are lying to each other about something and that's making this person feel guarded they feel like when their back is turned you might be talking to other people and you just want their attention six of wands or it's just the energy of the moment you guys have your backs turned towards each other you both don't really know what each other's up to and it's hard to let that guard down okay but this person definitely has romantic love for you they 
they think about you a lot with the Six of Cups coming out two times. You're definitely freshly on this person's mind. But I'm, I'm definitely getting someone regretting not seizing an opportunity. And is it too late? Because the Judgment card tells me it's not too late. There's still a chance to, you know, look at each other and really talk things out before making any final decisions. When the judgment card is in the outcome, it tells me that someone has yet to make a final judgment call, meaning the door ain't shut. There's still hope for somebody here to take the initiative, take action, ace of wands, and come forth. Okay? Why is Taurus's feelings for this person the six of wands? Why is the Six of Wands how Taurus feels about this person? Why the Six of Wands? Why the Six of Wands? Page of Cups. For some of you, this is definitely someone new that you're trying to get things off the ground and things are a little bit awkward. All right, you have, a, you have a crush on this person. They have romantic feelings for you. It's like someone's needing to, you know, dive into their confidence to, to take the lead. I feel like you're waiting on this person to take the lead. There could be a slight age difference. And then I got the hermit. You may feel like the connection has kind of like went into a place where now you both are kind of like, you know, acting a certain way towards each other. And that's why I got the two swords as your advice. Just keep doing what is meant to happen. Go with the flow. Don't be strategic with the situation is what I'm getting towards. All right. Be accountable for what you're doing as well with the judgment card. Because I'm strongly getting you both acting a certain way that is really backfiring. Because you guys do have a sweet bond here. Okay. Why is the Four of Pentacles this person's intentions? Why the Four of Pentacles as this person's intentions with Taurus? Seven of Cups. They're confused on whether or not to hold on to this. They, they value you clearly. Because that, that crown that's on that safe, that represents Taurus. Ten of Wands, willing to do the work, willing to cut through any red, red tape to get to you. Waiting, waiting for the right moment to take action, which I see right here with the King of Wands and their actions and behavior. Why is the King of Wands and their actions and behavior towards Taurus? And then I'll clarify the blockage. Why the King of Wands, please? Why the King of Wands? Ah, the Nine of Swords wanted to hop out. Someone here is going to fake it till they make it. They might come towards you very confident, but deep down they are dealing with a lot of trepidation, a lot of anxiety. Why the King of Wands? Three of Cups. They want a reunion if you guys have been in separation. They want to date you if this is someone that you have been flirting with. Um, and for others, if you're in that awkward, are we friends, are we more stage? This person definitely wants more. They want more than you know. And there's the Fool, major kind of for Aries. They want a whole new beginning. So in the blockage, we have the Ace of Wands. Ah, cheese Louise, this one card wants to come out. Got the Knight of Wands on the bottom, and we got the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is, you know, such a loving energy. It's so rich with emotions and love and nurturing it's just it's it's one of one one of my favorite queens but with it in the blockage someone here is not being emotionally vulnerable someone's not letting someone in which is fizzling out the ace of wands because you need a you need more than just fiery passion to you know sustain a connection you need emotions involved you need stability involved you need communication ace of swords all right, so someone needs to be more expressive, more vulnerable to get something ignited here. Why is judgment in the potential outcome for Taurus and this person, please? That's scorpionic energy. I'm not sure if I said that already. I mean, this is my mom's shit or get out the pot card. You either want someone or you don't. You either want a relationship or you don't, you know, make a decision. For those who don't know, my mom read professionally before me and my sister were born. <laughs> Why the judgment card? Page of Pentacles. An offer. Okay, a stable, secure offer. To the Empress. Taurus. Ace of Cups. Some of you guys could already be parents. So in your advice, Taurus, we have the Two of Swords. So you're getting a sweet offer, and it's going to be up to you to decide whether you want to take it or not. 
Why the Two of Swords as Taurus's advice? The Fool, Aries energy. Try your best not to ignore the truth of the situation. Truth will set you free. I know that sounds like a cliche, but it's coming through. If you want a new beginning, you cannot avoid making a decision. A decision needs to be made. You either want someone or you don't. Um, Six of Swords, Two of Wands is the overall energy. Two of Wands is my planning card. Six of Swords is moving forward to a peaceful place. So someone's planning to move forward in a peaceful way with this relationship. Page of Swords, incoming text, incoming communication. Incoming text that allows you both to um, connect with that Three of Cups and talk about where you wanna take this attraction that you have with each other. And then there's the Ace of Pentacles, there we go. The final card in your reading today is the Ace of Pentacles. And remember how I said, we need to replace this Ace of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. Because the Ace of Pentacles is what is going to create a stable relationship, a family tree. I love it, I love it. Perfect ending. Now, if you're in recent no contact with anybody, I'm gonna pull your person's hidden feelings for you and see how they feel about the fact you guys aren't talking and if they wanna reach out. For Zodiac signs, I got strong Leo here. I got strong Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, you showed up. Libra showed up. But it really could be any Zodiac sign. Would you please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way, Taurus. And if you would like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. And if this reading did not resonate, remember I have two other June love readings in my June playlist. And also my recent all signs in the past live stream is also linked below where you can go to the Taurus timestamp. A lot of Taurus love readings for you to binge on. You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. So that's your person's hidden message. It doesn't really speak of returning. So someone's just hoping you return maybe based off of those three. All right, so I love you Taurus. I'll check back in on you on next week. All right, till then, later Gators.